UFC middleweight division fight. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the campus. Proudly representing Liverpool, England also has some roots in Brazil. Here is Darren Till looking to preserve his spot as welterweight contender here tonight. Darren Till is a phenomenal fighter, a guy that's willing to fight anybody the interview where he's in the octagon, he says, just line them up, I'll find them all. Yeah. I will fight each and every one of them. Darren Till has that quality about him that just draws you in. But what ultimately gets you in the door is the fighting ability, the great boxing, the great fight IQ, the mentality that allowed him to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Steven Wonderboy Thompson. He's got a welterweight hit list a mile long. You should be glad you're not on it. No, I don't want to get on that list. <laughs> I don't want to see the group. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. When you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. A little single collar tie there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Spinning back fist is there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. He got it. So just over 20. That strike over the top, and now his opponent in a beautiful level change, making think they're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Wow. All right, 
right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 10 seconds to go. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number two. We're going the winner by knockout, Darren Tell! Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. 